Thank you, everybody. So how much does everyone know about Arab culture or Muslim culture here in the United States? Unfortunately, when most people think about Arabs or Muslims, they think about the clash of civilization, they think about refugee crisis, terrorism, extremism, all kinds of things. And this is my goal now to show you some other part of our Arab culture and Muslim culture so that we don't always have only one impression of everything. Music is our tool for diplomacy and disruption. Diplomacy and disruption. So this is a participation with our culture. And so they are becoming familiar with us, and they are feeling our music and our movement. And they can identify with the performer. This creates the potential for future advocates and allies. My very first Arabica assembly was just two weeks after 9-11. A teacher I knew had a young Arab fourth grader in her elementary school who was being harassed by her classmates. Obviously, those children were reflecting the fear and anger of the adults in their lives. So that teacher asked me to come and give a presentation to the school children, introducing my culture in order to make them more familiar with and less afraid of the Arab and Muslim world. Uh, Mr. Is take over. And since that day in 2001, I have performed over 400 Arabica school assemblies. Arabica brings Arab music, dance, and culture to schools across the United States. Thank you, everyone. And now, if I want to say thank you in Arabic, I say. Shukran. Good. Ready and go. Stop and hook. Again. We are teaching young people how to appreciate someone who is different from them. And this ability to appreciate will benefit everyone in this country. <laughs> 